Hello everyone, it is me Katie. Welcome to my corner of the internet. Uh, we are here for part two of Build With Me. We're building this beautiful suburban style family home. Uh, if you have not watched part one, uh, we have already started building, so go back and watch part one. <laughs> um, if you have already watched part one, hey girl, um, we're going to continue where we left off. Uh, so here we are in the world. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on build pie and it's going to load and here we are. So um, uh, it's daytime. Would you look at that yet? Uh, it looks so good. I think it's going to look super nice, especially when we have the roofing on. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go not so much on a rant, but I just want to explain roofing. A lot of people tend to have a very hard time with roofing. Um, and it took me quite a few years to kind of understand roofing myself, especially in The Sims 3. Um, Sims 4 is a little bit easier because it's more user friendly. Um, <clears throat> but like The Sims 3, uh, it's pretty easy when you get the hang of it. Um, but roofing can really definitely 1000% make or break a home. So I'm picky about roofing, um, but I'm going to show you how I would do a roof to this kind of home with the style that we are provided with in the photo. So um, it's a pretty standard, easy roof. Um, so it, it'll be pretty easy to replicate. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to jump on in to doing the roof. What I usually do is I lay down flooring uh, where the roof is going to be. I usually do one floor, one color of um, like flooring. So I usually use like these. So for this, I'm going to use this uh, to place it where there are no, like inside a certain area, press shift. There we go. And I'm going to go over here, press shift and click. I think that's it for downstairs. And then upstairs, I'm going to use this other blue shift and click. There we go. So that's where that's this is the house. Okay. So, um, we're going to go into roof. I need to open up the photo that I have of this house. <laughs> Alrighty. So one thing I noticed right off the bat is that we do have a bit of a like walkway deck kind of situation down here with some columns, which is easy enough. Uh, what I'm going to do though is get my eyedropper, click on this flooring and place it one square um kind of above just the ground and i'm gonna click and drag so that's what we should have um and that's where the roof is going to go over kind of like it is in the photo with the columns right here and here just so you have a kind of more of a visual of what we're doing so um i'm gonna get started with this roof um i'm going to use a gabled roof that should work yeah we're gonna use a gable roof and we are going to start from here from this corner we're gonna drag it nope okay it's not gonna work okay so <clears throat> this is a good lesson <laughs> um so i want the i want it to go the other way i want this peak to be over here so when i click and drag here because of the size of this it's not going to work so um, that's fine. What I'm going to do is click the letter K for my sledgehammer, delete that roof. And we are going to go to tall gable roof, which is just a couple down. So it's like gable and then we're going to go to tall gable and we're going to go from the same place we just were. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag to where I want to go there. There we go. That's that. Uh, there we go. See? Done. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do to customize it, just because this is not how tall the roof is in the photo and it doesn't make any sense, I'm going to go to Roof Selection Pitch Tool. Oh, I just hit something I shouldn't have. Sorry. Ignore that. <laughs> roof Selection Pitch Tool. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag it down just a little bit. I think that's good enough. So, this is what we have for the roof. <laughs> It may not look like much, but we are, we're getting somewhere with this. Um, on the other side, right over here, um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the tall gable roof and I am going to, what am I going to do? Hmm. Um, so disclaimer, I don't think it takes a smart person to realize that the measurements uh, that we are going off of in the photo are not going to match up exactly the same in The Sims because the measurements just aren't going to line up properly. So 
Um, in the photo, both of the bedroom windows, by the looks of it, the, with the two peaks, this this part and this part are over the big garage. Now, because the measurements are not the same, the Sims are the upstairs comes all the way over kind of above the smaller garage which it does not in the photo which means that our roofing will have to be a little different because of that which is fine totally fine um what i would normally do is play around until i find something that i like um what we could do is just do that so i'm going to start off all the way from this edge and drag all the way over to the end or the beginning whatever of the big garage over here and i'm just going to do that and then of course we're going to go to the pitch tool and just drag it down um it doesn't need to be anything specific like a certain level um yeah i think that's okay so it, it looks good um what i'm going to do to cover this right here is i'm going to use this half gable roof and of course, this looks like this. Once you click on it, the wall appears and it's just like half of a gable, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that right there. I'm going to start from this end, drag all the way over and go uh, maybe three, go three, six by three. And then you're going to want to just use the pitch tool, drag that down there. So it matches. This is what it looks like. Um... Yeah, it looks great. It looks great. We got some double roof right here. We could fix it. <laughs> I think it looks fine. I'm not overly picky about it. Um, if it really bothers you, you can like screw around with it. Uh, I'm not going to. It doesn't really bother me. It looks really good though. So that's the downstairs for the most part. I think we have a little back piece right here, which we'll do in a minute. But I want to get the majority of the upstairs now done because the upstairs is going to be super easy. So uh, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to need my tall gable roof. And we are going to go from this corner right here and we're going to drag it all the way to this corner. No, we're not. Nope. <laughs> Rewind. We're going to use the normal gable roof from the very beginning here. And we're going to do that. There we go. There. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to clear my throat. Alrighty, so uh, with that, um, it's quite tall looking compared to the rest of the roofing. Um, we can just use this to tone it down. You can also just use this bar right here. It controls um, everything all together. Now, because I like certain roofs at certain pitches, I don't use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it's not going to go back. Oh, perfect. I screwed everything up. Oh no. Oh, oh, it's a bloodbath. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. I think, I think that's kind of where we were. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't use this bar unless you place it all and then use it. I wouldn't use specific pitches. It's just how I do the roof. It can make it look more realistic. Um, and I would recommend that for this obviously. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that bar. Um, it just, you know, I was showing you, but maybe don't use it. Um, so let's do that again. Start from over here, drag it all the way over there. And then to get those two peaks above this window and then this window, we are going to use the tall gable. I'm going to drag from the corner of this wall and I'm going to go all the way over to here. All right. And then I'm going to start from here, go over by the four and then just by one. That's all. There. Now that should look, if we do this, do you see it? Are you, do you see it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> or do you feel it? Is it, do you feel it? I oh, don't know. No, I'm 25. I'm, I'm out with what the kids say. I don't know. <laughs> but if I do this, it looks like the photo. Like, I feel like we're getting somewhere. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's go to the back of the house because we have some blank space here. Um, I'm just going to add the gable, like the tall gable roof to here. Should I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? Whatever. Um, so let me show you something. If you just add it and you do this, you're going to be able to see it from behind. Like, see how weird that looks? It's not flush with the rest of the roofing to look all in one. I also noticed that it's a little bit here too. I'm not overly concerned about that because like, 
You know what? You do kind of notice it, eh? Yeah. Okay. What I'll do, we'll just do that again. So I'm going to start off from this corner, go all the way over, and then you're going to go back. So here I just stopped at 8 by 3 but we're going to go 8 by 4 And do you see how it blends in nicer with this main roof? That's what you want because it looks uniform. It looks more cohesive. I mean, roofs don't just randomly stop, right? Like, they don't really look like this, okay? Usually. There's exceptions to that rule. I get that. But usually they, they don't look like this. This does not look very appealing curbside-wise and probably architecturally. It's just not very sound. So... What we're going to do is go um, four by, I'm going to say three. There, yeah, perfect. It fits perfectly. Beautiful. Um, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to add it, go over by five, and go back by, here it's three, there. Okay, I know from the side you can see some of the roofing. You can't get rid of that. It's it's just part of the house, okay? <laughs> um, just corks. I was going to say corks. Um yeah, perks of playing The Sims 3. Anyways, so this is what this looks like so far. And it is looking a lot like the photo. Like, hello, I'm not mad. Um, it, it's looking really good. It's looking good. I think we should add some columns out here. Um, columns. They kind of use this, like, half of it has brick and then half of it does not. So it's kind of like this. You know what I'm saying? like that yeah I think that looks good I don't know if it's really gonna work when I put like you know like some kind of brick on the bottom here but it looks good um what we could also do kind of quickly if we really want to get spicy is just add the add windows just add windows um what kind of windows do I want to use for this house it's giving me ambitions vibes probably because we're in um whatever world this is <laughs> my god i've been having trouble remembering remembering the names of worlds today i'm also just having a wild day so i'm sorry um let's add some windows i have a lot of cc windows that match the windows from ambitions so uh i'm just gonna use this simple one. Oh, see okay another thing let's let's uh i think most people know about move objects on but if you don't hit control shift and then c and then we're just gonna put move objects on and uh there we go beautiful um the windows are white these are an off white so what we're gonna do is place them yes I know this kind of looks a little funky because the roof kind of goes through the window. You know what? It's it's fine. If it really bothers you, you can find like another kind of window to like put in there. But I'm not going to lie. It doesn't really bother me. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It looks fine. Um, and then over kind of where the door goes is another window. I wonder if there's one of these smaller windows that I have that's CC that's a two- by is it two by two two one by one so i want like a, a two by one is that what i'm looking for why am i having a hard time with that um <laughs> like i said it's been a long day uh i can't find any i thought i had one well that is kind of lame i have a big version of that same window that cc so i'm gonna place that there because even though it's a smaller window in the photo i want it to be a bigger window to let in light i don't oh it is it is two by one why am i i know i had one i'm just gonna place that right there is that what i'm going for i think so i do we lower that roof a little bit i just want to see what this looks like um so this roof right here that we have will not go down any lower right i can raise it but it won't go down any lower i need to go back farther with it for it to go down lower to blend in seamlessly with this part of the roof which is fine that's easy enough i maybe i will go down just a little bit what about that is that too far down? I'm sorry if I'm really confusing you guys. You guys really don't have to do this. 
um, this is just me being really picky. I'm going to go over by the six. I'm going to go, oh, I can't, Ugh. stupid windows. I'm going to delete the windows really quick. I just want to see if I can kind of make this look a little bit better. <laughs> um, What do you guys think? Maybe. I just kind of fixed up the roofing. You know what? It doesn't really even look any different. I don't know what the point of all that was. I wouldn't do it if I were you. Don't follow me. I'm just being crazy. Um, <laughs> let's place these windows once again. There we Yeah, it literally didn't change anything. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyways, here we go. Um, at the very top peak right up here if my game would work. Uh, there's a little window right here. Um, I do have little windows, I believe. Um, I'm gonna put this one. No. It's gonna be hard to find one that's at the height that we need. That's not gonna work. That's off center. Don't bother the crap out of me. Um. Ooh, that would work. This is also just the one that came with ambitions, right? Or did I use this? Oh, I use this one. Okay, it's CC. I'm going to have to try to find that in the Sims resource and link it down below. Um, I don't like the way the frame looks on that at the top. It looks a little weird. <laughs> what if I switch it? Um, do we like that? Do we like her? I actually don't think I do. Anyways, let's delete it. I like it blank. Um, okay. We're going to leave it as that. We're just going to walk away from it. You know what? It's fine. The, it looks like the photo. It's going to be easy to do the layout. It's it's Gucci, my dude. Uh, I'm going to move on to the door. <laughs> Since we're kind of on the theme of ambitions, we might as well use the door from ambitions, this beautiful door. And I'm just going to place it where we place those two squares back there. That's like the farthest part back of the home there so this is what we have so far um as you can tell this is actually part of the roof this is part of this roof over here now to get rid of that all you have to do is get your sledgehammer or hit the letter k and just click on them and they'll they'll delete it's easy there we go and over here for some reason there i think that's oh no there's some hiding over here just delete them They'll go little half walls or something. Um, yeah. All right. So there is that. I think this was looking exactly like the photo, which is the purpose of it. Duh. So um, I feel like doing the roof was like a whole friggin like episode in itself. So uh, I think I'm going to end that here. I'm trying to keep these really calm and shorter. So it's not like I'm sitting here for like 40 minutes doing everything really quick. I you know, we're just taking our time. Okay. There's no rush on this. If you want to marathon all these videos and build this house, go for it. I mean, at this point you could pretty much go on your own. All you're doing is like <laughs> coloring the outside and doing up the layout. But if you want some commentary on maybe what makes sense the most for layout, or you're just not a builder and this is your first time and you're not sure, um, yeah, I think it's good to take it slow, step by step. So I'm going to end this here. I hope that doesn't irritate the crap out of you. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link. I'm going to try to find the CC I have and uh, link it down below for you guys. So with that, without further ado, I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you know anybody that could use this series, comment. I don't know. Send it to them and tell them to watch it. Comment down below. It means a lot. Uh, it lets the algorithm know that people like my videos and it'll um, it'll just play them to more people and they'll come up more when people search things and it'll just help a lot. Uh, even if you just like comment a stupid poop emoji down below, I don't know, anything. Um, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.